everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And we're back on the Troy Built. We had a few problems. Um, as you can see, there's a water spot right there. And that water spot wasn't there until I added air to the rear tires. So both rear tires need to be replaced because they're so dry rotted. I was wondering why they were saying zero on the damn uh, gauge, so they're so dry rotted they won't hold air, so I may have some tubes somewhere that might work, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I got two tubes up there that I saved, I might have to use them until I can get a set of tires, but anyway, that's not what this is about. Uh, as you guys remember, I rebuilt this deck just like I did the John Deere. I replaced every single part in it, uh, even the bolts, everything. And um, I just got finished leveling it, and then I was going to go ahead and start checking out what was going on today. I mowed the first day. It did a beautiful cut. Then I moved over to the other side of the creek and it mowed great. Then I come back home, I put it away. I said, okay, let's go mow again. So I go the second time. I had two more swipes left that were about uh, 20 foot long. <laughs> and that deck started smoking. Now, as you guys remember, we replaced every single part in this deck. There's no real reason why this thing should be smoking. So as far as I can tell, it looks like the uh, bearings in the new spindle that hasn't even mowed two yards yet. Almost. It made it by two swipes. But we're going to take this cover off. As this is the one that was I seen smoke rolling up out of here. So we're gonna check it out and see. I've already loosened these bolts up so I wouldn't have to fumble with them so hard. And uh, we're gonna see what's going on with this. Now I've just leveled the deck and uh, I'm interested to see what's going on. So, this is actually a pretty easy cover to take off. And look, you see what? I see a problem right there. Just from taking this off, I see a problem. Grass builds up in here, and that's not good. Because you can't get that. You'd have to take this panel off every single time you clean this. And I've blowed this out already. Alright, so, so let's see if we can't take this pulley or book belt off and keep tension on it and check this. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Bearings are bad at Wow. Brand new spindle, dude. Dudettes. Brand new spindles. So, I guess I can go ahead and lift this belt off and just hope that I don't lose where it's located. And then we're going to check the other one. Yeah, the center one is okay. Alright, now let's go check the other side. Yeah, this one's okay. That one's okay. But this other one over here, now you notice there wasn't as much grass on that side. This thing is locked up.
it's hard again. That's crazy, man. So now I gotta take the blades off. Now I've got another problem. This is gonna require light to show you guys. You know, when I first got these blades, let's get y'all set here and hopefully we can get you in a good location here. Alright, so I'm going to spin that other one. Look how twisted and pushed down that blade is. And all I hit was a snake. That side's almost level with the deck. This side, look how far down it is. That's a good freaking inch down. And that's just happened in two mows. And I have not hit no rocks. So I'm not understanding why that's like that. But I ordered a set of mulching blades for this thing anyway. So I got to get with them and tell them you need to replace this because... The warranty should be for more than freaking two mows. But, uh, so now I've got to replace the spindle and all the blades. Uh, he owes me a new spindle. And I'm going to look at the belt and see if it needs to be replaced. You know, when I first ordered this, he never gave me a belt. And uh, so he, it was supposed to come with a belt, three blades, two idler pulleys, two spindles, two pulleys on the spindles, and uh, a belt. Or did I say a belt already? Well, everything came except for the belt. So. He did. He quickly got me in another belt, sent it to me. So I got it, finally got it together. And I mowed with it, and it mowed beautifully. I hit a freaking copperhead out by my cellar house. And I didn't know I hit it until I was turning around to come back the second swipe. And uh, I seen him still barely moving. But it's a copperhead. It, the blade should just chopped it up and been done with it and went on about his badass self. But <laughs> snake don't stand a chance with a blade like that. But if it can't handle hitting a freaking snake, as soft as a snake is, it would have just chopped it up. It wouldn't have hurt the blades whatsoever. But, uh, Apparently, them blades are softer than a snake. So, here's that copperhead that I killed. But, uh, it runs beautiful. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better running uh, lawnmower. But anyway, listen to how good this thing starts. And watch it not start this time. Next, next thing on my list is try to save up for a starter. Uh, I want to get the um, for a third generation starter for this. This one's got the first th generation starter on it, and it don't have no butt. 
it, it's hard to crank. So, but that's where we stand on this thing. Uh, I've sent him a message about this and told him that the damn pulley was locking up and the middle one, you've seen how bent down it was. It was that far below the bottom of the deck. Now on the front of this thing, I'll just go ahead and show you this a little upgrade too. Get me some more light over here so you guys can see, you blind people. I know you old farts like me, you can't see nothing. But what I did was these pins here that goes into this, I can get you all in a good location here. All right, these pins that goes in here, they were just flopping around. This here was just flopping around. There was no stability whatsoever to it. So it had a lot of slap in it. So I went around and made a bushing to go in its place. It's just basically a big, thick, six millimeter wide. Actually, it's more like about 575 five millimeter point seven five so five and three quarters of the millimeter <laughs> anyway uh, both of them are the same size and that filled the gap so now it this pin has no choice but to stay straight plus I went and welded another washer to this rod and um, I'm really liking that freaking front end, man. I like them uh, cast iron front ends. But my pulley there is working nice. The only thing I got left to do now is I got to tighten these bolts back here up. And uh, we'll do that right now. Let me up your date, update you, up your date. <laughs> Let me up your date. I'm going to up your date, you guys. This is the brand new spindle that come out of my Troy belt. And this is exactly how I pulled it out. Look at all them bearings missing. I thought they fell out. There's no bearings on my floor where I pulled this thing apart. That's how many bearings it had in it. So where the other bearings went, I don't know. Right there's part of the cage. Well, all the bearings might be in there. The cage is missing. Part of it's laying on my floor. And this is a brand new spindle. And there's a difference between this one and the ones that I had already. This spacer right here is not on all the rest of them. And this thing eat the hell out of the inside of this housing. You can see where it's chewed it up. And So now this new housing is no good, and he will not, uh, he will not replace it. Uh, he wants me to jump through hoops, and I'm not going to do that for him. Uh, you know, I would like for him to send it to me as soon as he gets, or as soon as I get it, I put that one in the same box that he sent it to me and ship it back. You know, I'm not going to play that game, you know. He's trying to get out of it. He's a single seller. He's probably selling uh, second hand. When you buy it from him, you're probably getting it from Amazon. Uh, I did get a package from Amazon, but I don't know if that was that one. But yeah, that pisses me off that I bought that whole kit for $104. 
and almost damaged the belt because that pulley locked up or it buried. So it caused a lot of damage. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.